for today. She is very knowledgeable when it comes to health and nutrition because she is a medical practitioner. She graduated from the Pamantasan ng Lungsod ng Maynila College of Medicine in 1997 and had her internship at the Makati Medical Center. And from December 2001 to April 2014, she practiced medicine for 14 years at the Riyadh Military Hospital, now known as Prince Sultan Military Medical City. She is now also a medical examiner at the Insular Life Insurance Company. She specializes in pediatric nephrology. Ladies and gentlemen, join us in welcoming Dr. Amy Manlangit Vergara. Ako po ang inyong abang lingkod, Dr. Amy Manlangit Vergara, Pediatric Subspecialty in Nephrology. Alam niyo po, ang dream ko of becoming a doctor came from my exposure in Makati Medical Center where I was born and where my mom used to work for 30 years as registrar at the School of Nursing. I graduated 1997 in Pamantasan ng Lunsod ng Maynila and had my internship in Makani Medical Center with rotations at the ER. I had my pediatrics training in Angeles University Foundation Medical Center in Pampanga. Our rounds would usually start at 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. every morning from the ICU down to the emergency room with our Saudi consultants. My life in pediatrics, though you, you will see, are very happy, but actually, we develop stressful conditions and toxic even during on-calls. What I got from 12 years to 13 years of this working condition is arthritis. I wasn't able to wear high heels like this before. I had vitiligo on the left side of my face. Autoimmune po iyon. Migraine and stiff neck. Even my husband developed arthritis and he cannot eat foods as you know. He was having joint pains most of the time. It was actually painful to leave the hospital after 14 years of service because they have been my family during those times. So what we did before we left the country of Saudi Arabia, we did medical missions to the people in the Philippine Embassy, Bahay Kalinga, as well as expats without legal documents, but we encountered cases that you don't like to hear. So after coming to the Philippines, my father had a heart attack in May 2013. He was in Paranaque Medical Center for five days in the ICU. Five days din po sa ward. When I came from the airport direct to the ICU, he was on dopamine and dobutamine po. Sa mga medical professionals, nurses, Dito, yung dalawang gamot po na yon, kapag tinanggal mo sa tao sa ICU, hindi po siya mabubuhay. So he was critically ill and I was ready for the worst. This picture was taken actually one month after discharge. 500,000 po ang angioplasty. Nakasave po kami doon. Ten days after discharge, my father was actually swimming in the clubhouse. Kapag Post-discharge sa ICU at ikaw ay isang manggagamot, titingin ka sa tatay mo, anong nangyari sa'yo? Ten days, nagsuswimming ka? Okay ka lang, Papa? Malakas ako. So thank God, up to now, he was not admitted again and had no more heart attacks. My personal health improved as well. Sa father ko pa lang, bawing-bawi na ako sa package. But then again, my vitiligo, Lesson dramatically. My leg pains from arthritis was gone. I can wear heels. Stiff neck was gone, as well as the high uric acid problems of my husband. My cousin Marge is actually a diabetic for eight years. She had five times regular insulin itinutusok five times a day. Marami po dito ang diabetic. At siya po ay naka-metformin, 1,000 mg twice a day. 2,000 mg of metformin, 
damaged her liver. So she came to me one time in the clinic and I tried, was able to convince her to take Fiber Life. Initially, two capsules a day. Lo and behold, two weeks, ang Reflo, blood sugar level 2.5 millimol per liter. Sayad sa lupa. Ang normal po ay 6 to 8. The turning point in my life came June 2014 when I came back in the Philippines. My child had tonsillitis. And it made me realize, hindi ito tungkol sa akin. I have to share the mission. My angel was highly febrile with severe colds. Nagnana na po ang tonsils niya that time. Namumula siya, nilalagnat, tuloy-tuloy. Nagsusuka. Literally, you know, as a doctor, that was the first, first time I knelt down sa Panginoon. I begged him to save my child because it was then that I felt that only God's unlimited power can help me. Alam mo, kaya mo siyang pagalingin sa intra with just 200 ml in less than 4 hours, tanggal ang lagnat ng anak ko. Tanggal ang sipon, tanggal ang pamumula. At hanggang ngayon, wala po po kaming hospital visits. Thank God. Lagnat lang po ang sakit ng anak ko nung time na yon. Paano kung ang sakit ng anak mo ay lymphoma, cancer, or rare cases such as this one? A mother in Bulacan has a child with glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency. In layman's term, kulang po ang red blood cell niya ng isang sangkap. Kaya kapag kumain siya ng bawal, ng almond nuts, ng soya, ng soybeans, dudugo ang anak niya. Sa lahat po ng kaso namin sa Saudi Arabia na hinawakan, wala po kaming ibinibigay na lunas, kundi blood transfusion lang dahil dumudugo. Lo and behold, after taking Intraduce in just a few weeks, glory to God, we found the cure. That child is very normal. He's taking almond nuts, he's taking soya beans, he's taking adobong manok with toyo. This is a testimony. And this is not an ordinary lagnat. We have another miracle case, thyroid of my mother-in-law. She was sick for two weeks, Christmas time, December 2014. She complained to me. Anak, masakit ang lalamunan ko. May bumubukol. Masakit. Confirmed by ultrasound, she was having thyroid nodules enlarged. The doctor in Balagtas doctors told her, prepare 70,000 pesos. This time, she believed in me and she asked for the supplements that we were taking for the last two years. Two weeks, intracapsules, six capsules a day. This is the result after two weeks. We saved 70,000 pesos. Marami po kaming dialysis cases na hawak sa military hospital. All cases have free medical services. Pati po ang dialysis nila doon, libre. All you have to do is to come during your schedule. But parents have given up taking care of their children because of the social impact of having a chronically ill child, it is really very devastating. May mga inaalagaan ba tayong mahal sa buhay na sometimes feel mo nang sumuko? Hindi dahil lang nauubos na ang pera mo, kundi dahil nakikita mong pagod na pagod na ang anak mo, gusto mo na siyang mamahinga rin. Sometimes my nurses would tell me to give up. Dok, ibigay mo na yan, pagod na rin kami. Severe hypertension, nagkukumbulsyon sa dialysis, including the stress of parents who keep on shouting to you, akala mo ikaw ang may kasalanan, hindi naman ako ang gumawa ng anak nila. But these people, you cannot blame for their suffering. Salamat po at dumating ang lifestyle sa Pilipinas. Dahil dati, walang gamot ang renal cancer. Ngayon, meron na! Buhay na sila! Hindi na lang sila nagki-chemotherapy, but they live a better life, quality life. Hindi na kinakala mag-chemotherapy ng mga brain tumors. Buti kung mabuhay ka after mong operahan. Maraming complications. But without taking any chemotherapy, less than three months taking intra-products, lifestyles, the tumor has decreased. It's available in Facebook.
for your testimonies. We have a rare case of juvenile hyaline fibromatosis. 70 cases in the whole world, 6 cases in the Philippines, and 2 has been healed. Testimony po na ang Lifestyles products ay hindi basta-basta juice lamang. Try to research the term, the sickness. Hindi ko alam kung makikita nyo ang treatment. Intraduce lang pala. Langerhans histiocytosis is a very rare case of leukemia. Kung may leukemia sa family, ito po ay higher level of leukemia. Lifestyles products din po ang nagbigay ng bagong buhay sa batang si Rice. Talagang ginusto ni Lord na magdoktor muna ako bago ko mamit ang lifestyles. Bakit? Kasi gusto niya ma-appreciate ko kung anong klaseng paghihirap meron ang ordinaryong tao sa synthetic na gamot. Chemotherapy will kill not only the cancer cells but also the natural cells. But lifestyles products on the cellular level will restore the damaged cells. So what it will do, it will strengthen up your natural killer cells to kill the cancer cells. So you don't kill any natural cells while you take the lifestyles products. Convince them not to take or undergo chemotherapy anymore. In this amazing product, you are a blessing to the 41 countries, Deborah family. So let our light shine among 100 million Filipinos. Then we fulfill the mission and we glorify God. We will go wherever God wants us to go as a missionaries. Let's help this nation live better every day. Mabuhay ang Pilipino. To God be all the glory. Thank